How's everybody doing? Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever notice with like shoes? <laughs> They're like they'll come up with a new shoe and it's like, dude, check out this new shoe. It's got like special mesh fabric that fits to like the contours of your feet and it's got revolutionary cooling technology so your feet will never get hot again. And it's like, oh man, these, these shoes, they're like chick magnets, dude. You're gonna have women all over you. There's swarms of them. It's gonna be like the last of us. They're gonna be chasing after you, but you're gonna be well out to outrun them because you have this great shoe. And then with socks, it's like, hey, check out this new sock. Everybody's like, okay, what's what's like cool about it? And they're like, it's it's really good. <laughs> and they're like, it doesn't do any it doesn't do anything special. And it's like, oh yeah, well it's like the fabric and like the weave is like it's really good. <laughs> and we're all like, fuck it, I'll pay eighty dollars a month to get that in a box <laughs> shipped to my house. Who here likes ice cream? <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend I have a transition for that. <laughs> um, I really like when you go to an ice cream place and they have like cute names for the flavors. Like, they'll have stuff like, that's a lot of chocolate. Or, you know, Sparky's downtown has one I like called Oreo Speedwagon. But then, like, I went to an ice cream place the other day, they had a flavor called What the Fudge. Isn't it's not a little far. <laughs> I mean, I'm bringing my family here. <laughs> if what the fudge is on the table, then so is like, bust a hazelnut. <laughs> I like to drink pistachio. <laughs> Pop my cherry. That one's, that one's not even really a pun. That's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Ben and Jerry's does the cute names too. Ben and Jerry's has like these celebrity flavors. I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's um, Stephen Colbert has a flavor uh, called Americone Dream. Uh, Jimmy Fallon has one called the Tonight Dough. You know, those are fine. <laughs> I just think it'd be funny if like, you know, right wing talk show hosts had ice cream flavors. Like Ben Shapiro would have one called the female orgasm. <laughs> and it's just an empty container. <laughs> Alex Jones would have one called They're Turning My Frickin' Ice Cream Gay. <laughs> it's like Neapolitan with like his fake testosterone pills mixed in. <laughs> I've been making myself laugh with that joke because I'm just thinking about like he's the one that has to like make the ice cream. <laughs> so he's like in front of a big vet, like <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop the revolution, <laughs> globalists. <laughs> McDonald's is in on the celebrity thing now too. Like you know, I'm sure you guys have like heard about the celebrity McDonald's meals. There was the J Balvin meal. There was the uh, Travis Scott meal. Uh, Cardi B has a meal now. And the problem with that is that like. These meals are like really expensive. I don't know about anybody else, but when I go to McDonald's, I'm looking to spend like three dollars max. You don't need the big soda, you don't need the fries, all you need is like two like big chickens from the dollar menu, I think. Three if you want to live a little, four if you want to die a little. <laughs> I think the biggest the big problem with the celebrity meals is that they're too expensive, but I think it's just because they got like two big celebrities. I think it'd be like we'd have like a six dollar meal if we got like more affordable celebrities for the McDonald's meals. Like anybody that's been on The Masked Singer, that's like a five dollar meal. Like if like Nick Cannon had a meal, a Nick Cannon meal would be pretty inexpensive. It'd just be like, you know, a lot of McNuggets. And then you look at the, you know, you look at it and it's like, that's, Nick Cannon has a lot of McNuggets. And then, you know, you go to the website the next day and it's like, you've added more McNuggets. It's like, geez, Nick Cannon has a lot of McNuggets. And then one day you go and then there's like one less and you're like, oh, I feel bad for Nick Cannon. He lost one of his McNuggets. <laughs> On the next day, there'll be like two more and you're like, Nick Cannon needs to fucking cool it with the McNuggets. <laughs> or like, I think like maybe Army Hammer is probably pretty affordable right now. <laughs> but his meal, he would have to be like, you know, like a salad. <laughs> Nobody's eating the 
a burger from the Army Hammer meal. <laughs> that mystery meat. <laughs> All right, that's my time. You've been great. Thank you.